The Northern California Cherry Blossom Festival is one of the largest cherry blossom festivals on the West Coast. Since 1968, the festival has been dedicated to building bridges through culture and playing a role in the ongoing alliance between the United States and Japan. Each year, more than 220,000 people enjoy this event in San Francisco. Which showcases the vibrant colors and elegance of Japanese culture and the rich traditions and diversity of the Japanese American community. We asked the CEO and the member of the Gopher Brook National Education Center about the history of San Francisco's Japan Town, where this festival was held. I think it's important to understand that these ethnic enclaves developed in the early 1900s. When there were very discriminatory laws against Asians and against Japanese in particular, it was not like it is today, where we could have chosen to live anywhere. We were limited in where we could have a Japan town. I think when we bring Japanese culture and share it here, it's kind of a. I, I personally think it's a beautiful thing when we can carry it into. Either bi or multicultural context. I'm Ayano Hirase from Cal TV News. I'm here at the Cherry Blossom Festival in San Francisco, Japan Town. Today, I will show you around this amazing event. Japan to East California to make a connection to the Japanese people more connection to the Japanese I think these cultural events are very important for reminding people not only of Japanese culture and Japanese history,、um, but also the long relationship between California and Japan. In this festival, hundreds of artists from the Bay Area and the Pacific region come together to captivate audiences with their stunning performances. Cal TV interviewed two amazing performers. The first person is Yoyoka. In 2021, she was selected as one of the world's top 500 drummers. At the festival, she performed songs including Demon Slayer, one of the most Japanese famous anime. America, で挑戦してみたいことを教えてください。いろんなベニューだったりとか、いろんなライブハウスで、あのいろんなミュージシャンとかプロフェッショナルの人たちと一緒にセッションをも,もっともっとやりたいなっていうのを思って。アメリカで発信したい日本の文化とかってありますか？すごい本当に日本食っていうのはいいなって思うので。そこもそうなんですけど、最近すごくいいなと思ったのはあのお風呂が結構あのこっちってそんなにお風呂っていう文化がないので、結構シャワーだけで済ます人が多いですけど、なんか自分はお風呂が好きなのでそういう温泉とかそういうのがもっと広がってくればいいなと思います。The next person is Tozaburo Yanagiya, a rakugo performer. Rakugo is a traditional Japanese form of solo storytelling in a style similar to stand-up comedy, but performed entirely in a kneeling position, seated on a zabuton cushion. America, で挑戦してみたいことを教えてください。そうですね。まあ来年あのマンハッタンのカーネギーホールってねありますでしょ。カーネギーホールで英語だけで独演会やるんですよ。そのうち違った言語でもまあ落語やりたいと思ってるんですよ。でまあ。落語ってねお笑いの芸なので、僕の落語を通して皆さんが豊かな気持ちになって幸せな気持ちになって戦争なんかがなくなるといいと思うんですけど。Something endearing about bringing the kids into being a part of a tradition that happens every year, so that they then embody what it means to be a part of a omakusei. Cherry blossoms have connected Japanese Americans. People from Japan to the U.S. and people interested in Japanese culture here in San Francisco's Japan Town. The Bay Area of the United States is known as the place which many different cultures coexist. It is wonderful to be able to learn about the charms of each culture in this way. This has been Ayano Hirose reporting from Cal TV News.